representing Celtic Pride Martial Arts from Abertillery, Wales, please welcome Jimmy. Originally getting into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I didn't really want to do it because I was uh, fighting pro Thai boxing from at the time I was 17 and I only wanted to train Jiu Jitsu just to do MMA. I was sitting grab and was like gay, it's like what do I want to roll around on the floor? But then once I started doing it, it kind of like took over my life. Like, when I, was, like, I started when I was 19 and then since then it's just like it got to the point where all I wanted to do was train Jiu Jitsu. That's why I, that's why I knocked Thai boxing on the head, MMA on the head, I just wanted to focus on being probably that I want to be the best. Um, Pushed a lot. So it was originally a, a segue into MMA. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But then you sort of just um, realised you were too good at it, and, and that, that became all you wanted to do. It wasn't that I was good at it. It was just that's where my passion was. I was like looking at MMA, and I was struggling to get fights. And I have pull outs all the time because obviously I was like six foot six at welterweight, good grappling, good Thai boxing. No one really wanted to fight me. It was hard work to get matchups. But I found with jiu jitsu, I compete like every weekend. And like when I was a blue, purple, brown, all the way through the belts, I've just been like an avid competitor and I love competing. So with that, it allowed me the avenue to just compete as often. I've got to travel a lot more with it. It's like with well, MMA, I was getting like, yeah, fighting Newport. Yeah, but then with Jiu Jitsu, I was traveling to Brazil to fight, America, all over Europe. It just gave me an avenue. So it's just where my passion was, I think. Uh, probably made me the man I am today because like it's one of those things like where every time you step on the mat you're always going to get humble there's always going to be someone better than you in jiu-jitsu no matter how hard you train like I've got a, like a really high level and I still come into training and get beat up every day so yeah it impacts every part of your life and makes you a little bit more humble because you're never going to be arrogant you know there's always a, a bigger fish going to be able to, to beat you up and just you just respect people if they get on the mat and they're doing what you were doing then you're gonna have that level of respect for everyone, it just makes you mellow, you're not gonna be fighting outside because you're like, you know, beat up on the mat, so anything outside of that is totally worth your time. Perfection. Just wanna have everything perfect, like, perfection's unattainable. Therefore, your journey is endless. One of my favourite quotes because it always gives you something to something to strive for. Like for me, the goal used to be singular. It was all about me. It was like about winning gold medals, about winning fights. Whereas now, I got a lot of other people depend on me. I've got like a team full of guys. I've got guys I coach. I've got little kids who I coach as well. So I'm always trying to get better for them. So I can be a better training partner, be a better be a better teacher. And obviously, I still like to compete to show them that. Regardless of where you're from, you can make it to a high level. Like I'm from Hadley, it's like statistically one of the second most deprived areas in in the UK and Europe. Mm. But I've shown that you can get to a to a good level just by hard work and discipline. <laughs> There've been a couple, of, there've been a couple of moments of like when I've achieved something in competition where I've, I've never thought I'd do it. Well, I never thought I'd do it, but I thought it was going to be tough. Like getting the European Nogi final at black belt. I did a black belt like three months at a, a world class level, and getting to the final and taking silver there was a, a big moment. And getting my black belt as well. Like at the time, I was the second youngest person to ever receive a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, and yeah, it was. Like eight years of my life, I've dedicated everything to something to get to that, that point and be respected, especially competing all the way through the past. I didn't just train and just think, oh, I'll get it on time served. I went out there and I fought everyone at every level, the highest level, and when I got it, yeah, it was uh, probably the best day of my life. So, really, really good day. Oh, exponentially. I started. 2007, I started training Thai boxing. I was in like a small little pub function room, and at the time there was nothing really around you. Like if you saw a blue belt in Jiu Jitsu, you were kind of like a god. So you were like, fucking hell, this guy's a blue belt, bro. This guy's like four pro Thai boxing, and then just over the last 10, 12 years, it's just 
just exploded. Like the level of training you've got access to now is like there's multiple black belts, like good black belts, there's multiple world class MMA fighters, and that's just in my local area, not just Wales as a whole. I'd encourage everyone to do it. Basically, I see it as a life tool because if you do Jiu Jitsu, it's like you're doing problem solving with physical consequences. You're, the only thing you're thinking about when you're on the mat is how am I going to sweep this guy? How am I going to submit him? How am I going to stop him tearing my arm off, tearing my leg off? So when you come on the mat, it's, people think it's a, it's a form of stress relief, and it is because your, your mind's empty. All you're thinking about when you come and train is training and you're enjoying that process. And, you say it's a life tool because if you've got a problem in your, your real life and you come to face you think, oh, what would I do in Jiu-Jitsu? I, I relax, figure it out and, and, and work hard and, it's, and eventually it's going to work. And I think if people can use that as a life tool, it's a good thing because like, you get the physical benefits, you get the mental benefits. And the other thing is kind of like a ripple effect. If a guy comes in from work, he's been working, 12 hour shift comes in, ready to train, and he's in pissed off in a shit mood. He comes in, trains with the boys, gets beat up, does some beating up, learns, goes on. He's probably in a great mood, he goes on to his message, she's in a great mood, his kids, he want, he's, he's, he's buzzing from training, so he's gonna wanna play with them, and it just, it just sends out a positive ripple effect. Very rarely will you find in Jiu Jitsu or any sort of martial arts gyms, people coming out unhappy. Because if, you if you're unhappy when you're training, you're probably doing it wrong.